Some of the major controversies surrounding agriculture and agribusiness today are revolving around the use of GMOs in today's food products. A GMO is a genetically modified organism. This means that they alter the plant or animal's DNA to correct or add a beneficial trait to the organism. This change in the DNA creates a better end result for the grower and manufacturer, but many worry that this playing God with plants and animals could possibly end with negative consequences. The downsides to a GM product include many potential health impacts such as different allergens discovered with altered products and antibiotic resistance. Environmental impacts such as large amounts of land being used for only one variety of crop dampen biodiversity within a large area of planting, such as the American Midwest and the corn, soy, and wheat belts. The legal battles throughout companies such as Monsanto also create a large negative standpoint towards GMOs. According to Smith, these companies challenged a small farmer and sue for cross-pollination from their GM crops to the small farmer's natural alternative, claiming that the small farmer's crop will have stolen the traits from the GM corn plant. Williamson states that in 2006, 252 millions of acres of GM crops were planted in 22 different countries by 10.3 million farmers. The majority of these crops were herbicide and insect-resistant soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, and alfalfa. Other crops that were grown commercially, such as sweet potato, were resistant to a virus that could decimate most of the African harvest, and rice with increased iron and vitamins that may alleviate chronic malnutrition in Asian countries. Some varieties of GM plants are able to survive weather extremes in which correlated into the area that they were being grown, such as drought-resistant dent corn here in Indiana. GMOs may have some negative factors, but their other effects have a positive impact. Being able to change the DNA can create new efficient plants and animals for today's ever-growing population. This means we can create a crop such as corn and influence it to have a higher yield and growth rate so we can get the most out of the limited farmland. Growing more with less farmland slows down the destruction in natural, natural wildlife areas and clearing of forested areas for farmland, according to the U.S. Department of Energy. GMOs also lead to easier manufacturing processes and a lower food cost. With the widespread use of GMOs becoming a larger topic being debated and argued against, it's likely that the battle between the pros and cons of GMOs will be a long one. In some instances, the pros outweigh the cons, but as of now, there is no perfect solution. This creates heavy controversy over the one most important product in the world, food. Everyone eats, and these GMOs concern all those who care about quality food and where it comes from. Only you as the consumer can make the decision to buy or not to buy a GMO product for your daily meal.